and we are in the Myers finally guys so before we start go through this junction I just want to say a few things before so before you come to this junction oh what the hell is this why I have now the insulated panels and the lead plated door this was the build I had before this one we should have all the anti-corrosive and all olympium so now I don't know what is happening my inventory is the same that I gathered up so far, all this is the same. It's probably some kind of bug in the game, guys. So now I have, in, instead of these, it's just my previous build that I used. I don't know how this happened. So now we will play with two insulated and one lead door. But okay, I don't care actually now about that. What I wanted to say, before you come to the Myers, guys, you want to have these off-road tires crafted first because game will force you here to use off-road, to drive off-road to be able to gather corals and uh, marsh eggs and here is a lot of water, this is swampy area and you need this ones. zone 2 requires you to build this if you want to go through the mires and it's easy to build them, this is all zone 1 resources so build them, then come here and start farming and then guys, you want to unlock these the only difference is carbon fiber glass and uh, you can craft ca carbon fiber glass with the tree candy now this is the only resource that is in zone 2 in the scorch that's the junction we're gonna visit after this one but uh, there's another way how you can get tree candy to not even go to zone 2 what you need to do guys is just find the peacemaker in zone 1 and then add plasma to it and it will give you back the tree candy in return it's going to be one plasma for one tree candy and this is the only other way how you can get tree candy to not go to scorch and loot it, you know what I mean and then you can just build these tires, you know what I mean all terrain like that but another thing to say this first four gear, pulp, steel sheet and circuit board that's all resources from the zone 1 so you can gather all this while you're in zone 1 and then carbon fiber glass, you need to go to zone 2 to scorch. But if you find the peacemaker, you do that what I just told you. And you can get three candy before you go to zone 2, you know what I mean. And then only for the limb chip, you need to visit the zone 3 and pick up Olympiums. That's the final resource right here. And yeah, and then the next thing you want to unlock the turbo light engine when you start to farm zone 2. Because the only difference is the thermosub crystal, again in the scorch. And it's easy to gather this, and then you just build the turbo light guys and the off-road and you can drive the zone too however you want. I mean with this build you can even go to the end. So with just the turbo light and the off-road tires. Even though I want to use the old trend because they are much better on the road and almost the same off-road, so that's why I use all terrain. But off-road are actually better for this map because you will usually drive all around swamp and the water and everything so now let's start exploring this one um, swamp eggs and the marsh crystals will usually be around these green spots on the map that swampy areas so let's uh, select let's say this here and go there and let's see so we don't have again here the gas station of course and because I used so much fuel already now what we want to find then guys is the truck to loot but the Arda fuel truck with the big tank on the back and if you find that truck then you can refuel everything because it's always a lot of fuel there then you don't need to loot this I mean this because this is the last resort guys if you don't have anything else then you just need to go and loot this but we don't want to do that so this is scrap card guys yeah and another thing when you start exploring zone 2 then you will have armored cars starting to spawn around the map and you want to loot them instead of these old ones because they will give you more of everything and the other thing is if you build a liberator tool now you don't want this guy, this pickpocket he can steal the things from the car I mean detach let's say roof floodlights and then just throw them away somewhere else and if you need, didn't notice that you lost the part you know what I mean so 
Limb Shield, I think it doesn't help that much, but let's see. I will try to avoid him now completely. And uh, what I wanted to say, yeah, let's do a one scan of charge now again. This is just for platelets, electronics, and coppers, copper wire, and things like that, guys. But you want to find the uh, armored cards. So armored cards look like that. And with this, like small circle around it. And then the next thing, this sign is the actual is the actual corals guys so where I stuck now what the, what is going on come on man I hate things like this and now it will go when I get out of the car you know what I mean what the fuck but okay so now you see swampy area if you come here with summer tires you just don't want to do it and there's one armored car guys now you see how it looks like this and this is the marsh X, so this is very hard to miss because uh, they glow like this. And if you use a resource scanner, you cannot miss this. If you're going, if you're going here, better go at the night than just look for this. And usually they are they are around big glowing red X. But now, as you can see, that's not always the case. So they are they are something spawn like this. But what I wanted to say about this car, so when you first start visiting the zone 2 and you don't have armored parts built yet, then you can use guys this, you can craft then this tool here, the Liberator, so it's this one, again you need thermos sub crystals, that's the resource that's in the Scorch, we're gonna visit that after this one, and then you build one Liberator, and you fire one bullet, as I say, into door, let's say, or the panel, it will fall off, and then you can just pick it up and put onto your car. And this way you can build full armored car, as you can see, that's the armored doors and panels. You can put them on your car and repair them and use them, you know what I mean? Even if you don't have resources to build this yet. And that's what I wanted to say about this, and if you don't do that, you wanna just scrap them, you want to scrap these cars because they will give a little bit more of everything. They will give you like, you see now, they will give you actually thermos sub crystal here. These cars. So you want to scrap this. Let's see actually, where is the car? How much is one liberator costs? Thermos sub crystal, three out of five. So yeah, let's see, I can maybe now just... Uh, if I got, if I get now two more thermos of crystals, probably I will. Oh yeah, guys, now I will show you how to use the liberator. So what I'm missing? Oh no, pressure. Okay, we don't have this. So that's it from the liberator. <laughs> I will not do it now, but okay. Now you know what I meant. And then with the liberator two, the next tool. Yeah, let me say, I should show that immediately. It's all the same. Then this one just use a bit more resources and for this one you need explosives guys and these resources you can only find in smokestacks and in the red spires around the blacksmith anomalies but we will talk about it later but this guy then if you fire one bullet it will dismantle uh, much more parts at once so not just one and liberator one is only dismantling a single part and that's it about the Liberators guys and about the armored cars, so you can start finding them when you start uh, playing the Zone 2 here. So now let's continue, let's try to find the corals, so I can show you how they react to light and then how you can pick them up. So one another thing, again you will, you want to loot these pneumatic boxes here, always for the collectibles. Let's see if I'm in luck now. Oh, I hear the anomaly here. Don't come here. And only one paint. I think I have all paints, or maybe one left, so don't. I don't want paints, actually. And, yeah, I don't. 
I'm actually don't take too much care about my battery guys so now let's drive a bit like this do another scanner charge where is now the corals what is going on so now let's see because I didn't find gas station yet and then what you want to do guys you want to find truck like this with the big tank because these cars uh, I mean these trucks are the are the fuel tanks you will have this in the back and then you can easily refuel everything I mean the full car and all your uh, cans and whatever so if there is no gas station on the map guys you want to find these trucks and then refuel here because you don't want to waste time to to load these uh, bottles around the world and shit like that you just don't want that you know what I mean so let's just refill this too now so just throw them like this take this again and then refill your cans guys so now you see how this is the best way you need to find a truck like this or you need to find a gas station but it's much easier to find a truck like this than the gas station of course the station, gas station only spawn at specific maps and that's it you can throw this then away who gives a fuck yeah and uh, <laughs> just leave this again here and now I'm refueled guys after the first two junctions cleared I'm again now full fueled and I can do what I want again and even now now when you know where is the truck you know what I mean you can add your marker here and then go again loot 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 come back here again before you exit the junction and just reload a fuel tank and everything again and just go out from this map so now I just want to show the last thing here let's uh, drive a bit more here I, we didn't pick up corals yet and that's the last thing here to say about this map so come on give me some corals please corals 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 Yeah, now it's... <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so here... That's the... That's the corals, guys. Or no, this is actually... Yeah, that's the corals with that sign. And now you see, if I switch up my lights and come here... In the water, right? Because I have off-road, I don't care too much. And now you see this, when you turn on the lights... They will always stay out, you know what I mean? If you turn them off like this, come closer, they will start shutting down, you know? And then you need to run around them and do lots lots of time. You lose lots of time to loot them. So just leave the lights like these guys and go and pick them up. If you don't have the lights... Oh, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you will always have the lights on the car, of course, and you can do this. But uh, if you don't want to park the car like this, and uh, you can throw a flower in the middle of this it will do good and then you want to build of course this last uh, tier of the handwreck and then you can go just like this because this light will always shine them and then you can easily pick them up without losing too much time you know what i mean but if you don't have this handwreck you don't have flares you don't have anything you just park your car like this and then turn on the lights guys leave them on quickly go and pick everything up oh look at this that's not a truck I was in a second thought that was a back door of a truck that's another pneumatic box but okay I will not loot now any more things here because I think I showed you now everything so swamp corals and uh, marsh eggs are here guys this is the sign for swamp coral there and the other one was for oops what the fuck where am I watching Okay, so let's get out of here now, guys. We want to have off-roads or these tires at least, so we can drive like this around the water, around everything, and just pick up what you need. Again, this one, but I'm not gonna collect it now. I don't need actually this. You don't want to spend too much time in the water because it can damage your car if you have these batteries and things in the back seats. They can get wet status and shit like that so you don't want to stay too long in the water you want to park the car 
like this. Let's say if now the corals are there, I would park like this and not go into water and stay there. So now let's just quickly see where we are. I'm gonna pick this, at least this one. So then you wanna loot, now you see the zone. When you hear this sound, guys, this siren, then you know the yellow zone is start closing in. Now you see how slow it's actually going. So then you can stay here how much you want when you see the zone. You know it's time to easily plan your route to go out. And you can still loot, loot, loot how much you want. You will never loot everything, of course. Only, especially if you only start playing. Then you want to loot as much as possible. Pick up the resources that you want, anchors. And just exit the map, guys. So, yeah. Now I think that this is it from... Why I'm going now? Oh, the fucking handbrake. So, you want to have off-roads. Then... If you want to use Liberator here, you can start using it from, from here, guys. Just scrap the armored cars and you can build your own armored car. Even if you didn't unlock yet or have, you don't have resources to craft armored ones yet. You can then build Liberator and just do that, guys. So you don't want these cars anymore. Let's do last scan of charge just to see, maybe. Yeah, nothing much is here actually, nothing else, I mean. So there's the scrap cards, you wanna look for the other, other ones. That's the sign for the crystals. Yeah, actually we can go now from this map, I think. Yeah. Let's not use any more lights or nothing. Oop, stop. Yeah, hey, you wanna fuck up my tires, right? You see now these guys, lots of them are here. Doctors again. And one anchor. I need these ones only stable and unstables. To use, this one is going to the deck of end and you can get collectibles like that. Again, that's the only other way you can get collectibles guys adding uh, unstable energy to the deck event when you unlock that upgrade for the auto shop and actually I should but okay we will charge the battery how I always do at the end of the junction I do not actually take this one because I think we all have the past 20 hour mark that I wanted to be each episode around 20 minutes so I'm consistent and keeping it short I mean as short as possible now you don't want this guy that's a pickpocket guys and he can just steal the fucking things from your car you know what I mean like roof floodlets and things like that okay I will just now refuel my battery um, here come on man what am I doing again Sometimes I'm a bit stupid like this. And this charger will be gone. Now the next thing to say guys, if you wanna really save resources, then you don't wanna use this one all up, all up to the end. You wanna save this now. Then when you come back to garage, you just scrap it in the matter deconstructor. You get lots of resources back and then you can build this one again much cheaper. You know what I mean? So now let's take another one. I feel this. Yeah, I will not have too much. I will not have enough battery to finish all these seven junctions. But we will build cable jumpers on the way or whatever we need. I forgot to charge this on the truck there, but it's okay. I can find more trucks like this. So now you see, Don is going very slow. You can stay here much longer, do whatever you want. In the end, you visit that truck there, let's say and then fuel everything, just go outside of the map. And that's it from the Myers, guys. So don't come here without off-road tires, at least, and then you go to unlock the turbo light engine, of course. So I don't want this guy, no, 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 man. No, did you steal something, bitch? Yeah, now you see, I think he actually stole my 
yeah. <laughs> so look at this now, guys. He, he stole my uh, my. Uh... Oh, he didn't. But what you have in your hands, buddy? What's this? Powered bumper. Now you see this. <laughs> he fucking stole my powered bumper, guys. So you want to be careful about this guy because these guys are not a joke. And if you <laughs> if you missed that he stole your part and you drove away. Then you can kiss goodbye with that part, you will never find it again. <laughs> I mean you can, you drive back and try to look for this guy. But uh, you see now, these guys are actually the most dangerous ones here. So you wanna take care about them guys. These fucking pickpockets, you know what I mean? They can steal things from your car, from your hands, from backpack, from everything. Then later... Uh, you can unlock the upgrades that you can stop them from stealing from hands and uh, backpack but, but never from the car, you know what I mean? So you need to avoid the pickpockets as much as possible. Limb shield will not help here. So And we are at the end of this zone guys. So again you wanna loot trucks, you wanna loot compound boxes. Here you can find marsh X and swamp crystal. Crystals react to light. Here you can find start finding armored cars. You can lose use liberator to disassemble them and put armored parts on your car. So now let's just see. Yeah, battery is good. Come on. And fuel is good actually. I didn't I don't need to use anything now. I just don't know why the game load loaded my previous build guys with insulated panels and lead plated doors. But that's some kind of bug I think. So then we can just continue actually to the Scorch now and I will just, oops, I'll just heal myself a bit, then another thing, you just with the left mouse button you do this, but if you are in the car guys, you can still heal yourself just with holding V, button V on the keyboard and you can heal inside the car. And I think that's all what I wanted to say about this junction and the Myers. So yeah guys, this is the episode 3 ending now, and we're finally going to the Scorch. So now we cleared C4, and guys now let's continue to C2, finally we are visiting the Scorch. Thank you for joining me in this episode, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.